tensions on the island of Sodor and love their work. But sometimes there is too much. That's when Sir Topham Hack brings new engines to the island. Salty, the dockyard diesel, is one of these engines. He loves to tell tales of the sea. We heaved until the old freighter finally caught the tide. Ah, it's good to be useful. Salty is excited about coming to the island of Sodor. Islands are surrounded by the sea. Salty loves the sea. Soon Salty arrived at his new job. The high mateys. Salty, pride of the seven seas. I'm a new diesel and I'm here to give you some help. Bill and Ben didn't think they needed any help. Especially from a diesel. Welcome to Center Island Quarry, Mavis said proudly. Salty looked all around. Everywhere he looked, he saw nothing but rocks. A quarry, he cried. There must be some mistake. I'm a dockyard diesel. You're a quarry diesel now, Mavis said. And she explained that they had to complete an important job for Sir Topham Hatt. Salty was sad that he wouldn't be working by the sea, but he knew what it meant to be a really useful engine. And he set to work at once. Ah, well, Salty said, at least there'll be trucks. You better mind them, Mavis said. They can be a bother. He won't last five minutes, said Bill. Those trucks will trip him up soon enough, said Ben. But to Bill and Ben's surprise, Yo the truck seemed to give Salty no trouble at all. And the captain yawns. Yo ho ho, and a bucket of prawns, the tiller spins, sang Salty. And the captain yawns, sang the trucks. Thanks to Salty, Sir Topham Hatt's important job was almost done. Bill and Ben were surprised and a little jealous. Here comes Mr. Showoff, groused Ben. You have to admit he's got a knack with those trucks, said Mavis. Driver says he'll bore the bolts off us with his stories, huffed Bill. But Salty didn't say a word. He didn't come near the shed. Mavis was worried. She rolled alongside and asked him what he was doing on his own. Oh, I thought I might catch a bit of sea breeze. You really do miss the sea, don't you? asked Mavis. I said Salty. I do. But Salty knew the quarry work was important. The next day, he tried to show Bill and Ben his secret with the trucks. I like working to a musical rhythm, he said. And so do the trucks. Why don't you give it a try, me hearties? Here we go, here we go, here we go. We don't, no, we don't, no, we don't, don't, don't. But try as they might. Bill and Ben could not move the trucks the way Salty could. Later that day, Sir Tom Hat came to the quarry. He was surprised to see the job had been completed. Well done said Sir Topham Hatt. It was salty, said Mavis. We couldn't have done it without him. Then I've got a bigger job for you, salty. Aye, aye, sir. What kind of quarry is it? Quarry, said Sir Topham Hatt. I'm sending you to Brendam Docks. The docks, salty exclaimed. The docks are hard by the sea. Oh, thank you, sir, he said. This reminds me of a time in Bimini. And Salty was telling stories again. Salty loves Brendan Docks. He gets more work done than any three engines and feels really useful. And only the trucks know his secrets. The tiller spins and the captain yawns.